for we, a big bite. Terry, we have had so many guests on our tours and like, this is the best. Like, mm -hmm. they love this sandwich and they've had it other places. They're like, this is like the best they've ever had. They're the best. Yeah. There's a real bite of France right here. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny West Palm Beach, downtown in my home state of Florida. Today, I'm so excited because I'm taking you on a diverse food tour of this beautiful downtown area. We're gonna be eating French, Colombian, and even Jamaican. And I partnered with Get Your Guide for this food tour. You can book it along with thousands of other unforgettable experiences on getyourguide.com. Now you guys ready to eat your way through downtown West Palm Beach. Let's go. Welcome to West Palm Beach Food Tours, David. Um, you're in good hands because I love food, love West Palm Beach. I actually live about six blocks that way. Okay. So awesome. I hope today you feel like you are hanging out in my neighborhood. I'm taking you to some great restaurants. What do you have there? This is a very traditional South Florida way to start your day, a guava and cheese pastelito. Very traditional Cuban pastry. They're filling, they're fluffy, they're flaky. Absolutely incredible. Wow, this is like the perfect way to start my day. I'm breaking the right. fast right here. Mm. We're gonna eat a lot of South Florida foods today. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Fantastic. Okay, so first stop is right here, right? Avocado grill. Avocado grill. Okay, so we are on a food tour. I'm gonna be eating a lot of food today. I just ate an entire pastelito. I mean, luckily that wasn't too full. It was like <laughs> less filling. And this is Avocado Grill. So it's a beautiful farm to table restaurant. You guac my world. Love that in the back. And this is it. Incredible. I love the interior, super high ceilings, very tropical vibe. You know, South Florida. We're running on the back. We're gonna talk to Adam and we're gonna get some tacos. We're gonna do a uh, grilled fish taco, which is one of our signatures here at Avocado Grill West Palm. So it's uh, grilled mahi with uh, fruit salsa, uh, guacamole of course, avocado grill, uh, some cilantro, ay crema, and uh, we have a local tortilla that is made for us, um, it's real nice. It's a mahi-mahi taco. Yes sir. Oh, I can't wait, love mahi-mahi. And we're also gonna get a margarita, right? Okay, so I'm here with Ingrid, and she's gonna make for me the passion fruit margarita. margarita? Yeah. Okay, so first we do a salt. And then you put the triple sec. A little bit of agave, some lime juice. Some passion fruit. So right here we have a mahi-mahi taco. This is the true essence of South Florida, okay? So we have the sea right here, you know, the ocean, Atlantic Ocean, fresh mahi, farm to table. Love it, so it's like a, almost like a Mexican South Florida twist. Look at this. Starts as finger food, mm -hmm. finish that way. Mm. Wow, it's so cool. Fruit. Tropical fruit, nice and crunchy, and also the tortilla is soft, it's not too hard. The only thing is you gotta be prepared to get a little messy, right? Yes, you do. A little messy. I would say it starts as finger food, and I'm gonna be with your fork to get all the goodies. Mm -hmm. Tacos start as finger food, but it's not gonna finish that way, and that's why we give you a fork. For me, it's like guac on everything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, the mahi mahi is so fresh. Obviously, because I'm on a food tour, I'm only trying like one thing at each spot. But here in Avocado Grill, you can also try, you know, raw oysters, they got salads, they have a lot of different things that's mainly seafood, right? A lot of seafood. Big seafood. Um, so if you like wok, come to Avocado Grill, obviously. <laughs> and right here, we have the passion fruit margarita. Okay. Mmm. Incredible. You can barely taste the alcohol. So there's vodka, the not the, the passion fruit. Like it's it's a little overbearing, but I like it. So yeah. it's more of a fruity margarita. A little tropical twist. Mhm. Mm Man, I love the the salt. Oh, it blends perfectly. A little salty. It's a tad bit. Okay, avocado grill done. Delicious, amazing. You have to come here to have some seafood, some avocados, and some drinks. Now, where are we going? We're headed to Pistache, but we're gonna take a little pit stop in the park. Um, gotta get you a little history. History? So you understand yeah. why we're going, where we're going, and eating what we're eating. No, I love it. You know, I've never been to West Palm Beach, like downtown. I've been to the beach before. Come here, my dad has some friends in the area, but never here in downtown, so I, I didn't really know what to expect. You're gonna love it. <laughs> I love the temperature, too. Look at this. Okay, so across the way, we've got the island of Palm Beach. We're on the mainland. 
West Palm Beach. The island of Palm Beach was developed way back in the late 1800s by a man, his name is Henry Flagler. Um, and he developed it. It's a resort for northerners, a place for them to come and to escape the cold. Well, he had to do two things to get that, that resort going. Number one, he extended his railroad to this part of Florida so all his rich and famous friends could get here. The second thing he had to do is he built a city for the workers. And that worker city is beautiful West Palm Beach. And if you go to downtown Miami, you can see Flagler Street. That is named after him, obviously, because he started that. And now we have the Bright Line, which is like the fast railway, and it connects Miami to West Palm. Eventually, it's going to connect to Orlando, and that all runs on Henry Flagler's train tracks. And right here to the right, we have Pistache, French Bistro. We're going to have a sandwich, French sandwich, and we're going to have a cocktail. And I love what they're doing here because of, you know, COVID. They added these tents right in front of the street. And here we go, Pistache. Of Grey Goose, then half an ounce of Saint Germain. And here comes the fun part, okay? We top it with some bubbles. We use a twist to really add a little freshness to the cocktail. And that's how you make a French pear martini. I'm not a martini guy. My grandmother was. You'll love it. Yeah? It's all alcohol. Just take a little sip. It's nice. It's all alcohol. Mm. <laughs> It's good though. It's nice. I, I like it because so it's the vodka mixed with the bubbles, you know, champagne. And the elderflower. Mm. And the elderflower. It's it just works. like the pears, right? Very fruity. Yes. Pistache is consistently named one of the best brunches in town. Okay. This drink is served any time of the day, but it's really popular at brunch. The and sneaker. This, and the, the sneaker. sandwich we're going to bring you. Um, also, another very popular brunch, brunch okay. dish. We'll be out in just a minute. I mean, I love the restaurant. It feels like you're just entering France here. Correct, yeah, the bistro feel is authentic, but what's most important here is the food. The food is fresh, the best ingredients. We're having raclette nights, fondues, bouillabaisse nights, and those nights were completely sold out. It's difficult to manage so many reservations. You have to get them at least two weeks out. Wow. Otherwise, it's a little difficult to accommodate. But there is, without a question, the best food in West Palm Beach is here at Pistache. Well, you have me craving that sandwich now. Oh, yeah. Wait till <laughs> you try this one. <laughs> here we go. And here is your croque monsieur. All right. Here we go. The croque mensur, right? Uh, so bechamel. We have brioche bun, ham. We have how many different cheeses? One? Uh, two different two. cheeses. Swiss and Emmental. So Swiss and Emmental cheese. We also have an incredible salad on the side. We have some French fries. Got to jump on this first. Get a little bit of that. And Ketchup. how do you pronounce those French fries? Do you oh. remember? Oh, tell me. Pommes frites. Pommes frites. Did I do that well? Yes. Hopefully. Pommes frites. <laughs> yeah, we have to, it's right? It's a fork and knife sandwich. Wow, I love it. And this is the half portion, right? So for the tour, we have the half portion. If you want to, you can get the full. Mm. The bechamel, taste the cake. That's incredible. For me, you know, croquetas, I don't like the regular croquetas. The bechamel croquetas are the best. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's like the Spanish style, the real stuff, you know? Oh, but the, the, the bread here, the brioche bun, mixed with the cheese, the bechamel, and the ham, I'm gonna go in for we, a big bite. Terry, we have had so many guests on our tours and are like, this is the best. Like, mm -hmm. they love this sandwich and they've had it other places, they're like, this is like the best they've ever had. It's the best. Yeah. There's a real bite of France right here. Yeah, I mean, it's similar, right? Yeah. It's a ham. It's a luxurious. It's a luxurious. Grilled ham and cheese. Grilled ham and cheese. <laughs> He's happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. The taste of the cheese oh. oozing out. Mmm, nice ham. I mean, the bread is what makes this too, you know? You know the big difference between Spain and France? Oil and butter. Oil and butter. That's it. Mmm. Oh wow. I could do the other half for sure. You want the other half? No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Mmm. <laughs> Last thing we have to do is kill this. Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> We're not gonna kill it. We're gonna have a few French have fries. Pom mm. frites. Mm -hmm. Pom frites, remember. Mmm. Mm. Nice and crunchy, not too oily. Perfect. Perfect. Best French sandwich I ever had in my life, right here. Pistache. Pistache. Hey. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Good to see you. Enjoy the rest of the tour. Merci beaucoup, je t'aime. Merci.
now we're walking over to a coffee spot. Where are we going? We are. We are headed to Salento Coffee, and Go along the way, we're going to see a lot of street art. Um, the city of West Palm Beach, big believers of, in art in public spaces. Done by um, a Brazilian artist. Oh, he nice. Goes by the name of Cobra with a K. What Cobra is known for, so they paint a very realistic image in black and white, so that, that hand. Then they add all the prismatic colors. This one's really appropriate. It's actually on the side of a theater. So it's supposed to be like the Hamlet, the to be or not to be. We're here, Salento Coffee Shop. Little mom and pop coffee shop. Um, best coffee in town. And we're gonna enjoy a little, little demonstration. Perfect. Hola. We wanna show you how to make a Colombian coffee. How the, the way that the Colombian coffee farmers drink coffee. Actually, we bring our coffee uh, straight from Colombia from Salento is 15 minutes away from Armenia. Uh, we, we have around 30 coffee grams in here and we're gonna make one 12 ounce of the coffee here. Then I'm gonna mix with quantity of panela. I wanna mix the coffee with the syrup first. Okay, I'm gonna pour here slowly. And then we squeeze. And when, they, when people come in here and they order this Tinto, Jaime will tell them it's gonna take a little while because they always make it one cup at a time. Um, so it's it's worth the wait. You'll find out soon. One cup at a time. So now we have one 12 ounce cup. There you go. Okay, so the tradition is you have your coffee with your kids when they get home from school. Everything shuts down. We have the coffee and we have the pan de bono. Pan de bono. Oh, you nice. could do this every day, couldn't you? Mm hmm. It's very <laughs> cheesy. Mm. It is super cheesy. It's sweet and salty. Mm. It's sweet so and salty. Yeah. It's oh, perfect. so good. And it's totally gluten free, 120 calories. Mm hmm. It's super healthy. So let's try this coffee. Mm. Almost like an Americano, right? Similar, similar feeling. It's it's light though. Yeah, well. More body? Yeah, yeah it's, and it's not as bitter. Obviously, good coffee, no sugar. Here we have some syrup, so you have a little bit of a sweetener. No, really nice. But I gotta tell you the story of the pan de bono. So if you guys know Spanish, you know, good bread is pan bueno, no? But some Italian immigrant came in 100 and whatever years ago, whatever, and he, he worked for a baker, and then he went on the street and he was like, pan, pan de bono, pan de bono, right? Pan de bono was born. Uh -huh, that's great. And it is good bread. Mm -hmm. It's good bread. Really good bread. Super sweet. Mmm. The inside. Very different than the pan de queso from Brazil. Doesn't ooze out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice and gooey. It's really good. Mmm. Muy too bon. So now you guys know. Come here, try his coffee. This is Tinto by Salento, right? You make this. No, it's not mine. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. I'm gonna protect this my life. <laughs> gracias, gracias por todo. We are headed to Kapow. I will say Kapow Wow. Um, Asian Fusion restaurant, they, um, they're gonna make you a little bento box of all their most popular dishes. So you'll go behind the scenes, see what it's all about, meet the chef. I actually love it, the, the restaurant concept. I saw it online. The Kapow is very like, uh, more like a comic book style, right? Like, kapow, bow. This is Clamata Street. This is like the main pedestrian restaurant row street, right? If you walk down this way, you see lots of different restaurants. If you keep going to the left, which is more like inland, that is where the bright line is, where the train tracks are, yeah. right? So and we're here. Eventually, when you're down there, you hit the waterfront. That's what most of our visitors find is Clematis at the waterfront. Um, we like to spend most of our tour a little bit off the beaten path, the areas where the locals go. Um, so follow me. We're headed to, to the locals block is our next stop. So we're walking up Clematis. We just crossed the train tracks. That's the bright line. And this is the other part of downtown, right? This is the 500 block of Clematis. A lot of people call it the locals block where the cool kids hang out. Um, and that mural, Einstein. Do you notice Einstein's shoes are a little feminine? Yes. Okay, I have a good story. I have absolutely no idea if this is true. Um, one of the guests on our tour told us this years ago, and we love the story, so we keep repeating it. She said she was from the town in Long Island where the photograph of Einstein was taken at the beach. This mural is based on an actual photograph. According to her, what happened was he decided he wanted to go to the beach that day. He realized he did not have the proper shoes. 
They only had a ladies' shoe store in town, hence the feminine shoes. Love this place. Yeah, incredible decor. Look at this. Over here in the back, we have this incredible mural. I love the seating, and yeah, that's like all comic, right? Boom, pow. That's like Batman. Incredible. So you have a bar to the left, you have the restaurant to the right, and then obviously because of COVID, we have glass in between all the, all the seating, right? Beautiful. So you got wine, beer, and I'm sure they have sake. I'm sure about that. So we're here at the bar at Kapow. 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 Okay. And what are we trying? We are having um, a fun twist on a very traditional South Florida cocktail. Um, this is a blueberry lavender mojito. Okay. It's a good one. Perfect. And this is the beautiful blueberry lavender mojito. The blueberries have been soaking in vodka for three days. And so let me take this off. <laughs> the mint. So beware of the blueberry, David. Mmm, nice mojito. Oh, that's good. Mmm, no, nice sugar, right? Oh, wow. So do I just go in and find a blueberry here? Oh, wow, you taste it. <laughs> Tastes vodka. Like this is definitely a stronger mojito. I love it though. What a different combination, right? So blueberry, you don't really see that in mojitos. And this, the blueberries have been soaking in vodka. Very unique. I have five little blueberries down there. I'll take them. <laughs> They're gushing out vodka. Oh, that's good. Woo! All right, I need that. Kitchen time? Kitchen time. Let's go. My favorite part about filming food tours is going in the back and seeing how they make these incredible dishes. Mask up, let's get in here. I'm here with the king, Cornelius. Woo, look at that. Man, you love the wok, huh? I love it, man. The wok's the best, I know. The rice, noodles. Cornelius here is making a fried rice and I think this is a noodle dish, right? With right. some chicken. Right, this is a chicken lo mein. Chicken lo mein, okay. That's it, beautiful. And we also have the bento boxes. So the bento boxes is for lunch, right? Yes, sir. So I'm getting like a, something like this, like a sampler. Right, right, right. So you're awesome. gonna get a little taste of uh, what we put in our bento box. Perfect. All right, so chopstick travel, right? I'm a big chopstick guy. Chopstick. I'm really good with chopsticks. So I'm going for the cauliflower, general sal, Cauliflower. Mm hmm. Mm. I love it. So it's a almost like a sweet and sour, spicy sauce. Mm. So it has a thing to it. Very nice. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. Mm. I just love the sweetness. No? Sweetness, a little bit of chili, right? Dip it in here as well. Oh man, big. Mmm. Crunchy, healthy. They're all laughing at me here. <laughs> Even better than General Sal's chicken, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Way better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is incredible. I actually don't love that chicken. It's because it's so fried. They, they overdo it usually. I would say give me some more of that sauce, you know? This is a big thing in Asian culture. Cauliflower, you know? Cauliflower everywhere. Pasta, if you guys don't know, it's like gyoza you know, dumpling, but they stick to the pan. And this one has a Sichuan style. So if you guys don't know, Sichuan is a region in China. Everything is super spicy there. Just get it in there. Mmm, not so spicy. That's like a five. <laughs> Go in for the sauce, right? Mmm, and this is the star of the show, the Thai donut. People order it before they even order their entree. Condensed milk, raspberry lychee. Super sweet, huh? This donut is too much. Mmm, so sweet. Nice sugar on the outside. No, but the condensed milk is the best. Kapow wow. <laughs> oh man. Taste away from me. Yeah, it's dangerous. You gotta finish it though. Mmm. Oh wow. This is so good. Mm. And this is always how they do the Thai donuts, right? You're going to any Thai restaurant. It's going to be very similar, right? This is a bigger. Usually it's smaller, right? Okay. 
I'm full. Now I got the fried rice. So it's five veggie fried rice. I'm just gonna try it. It's chicken, mushrooms, eggs, uh, scallions, onions. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. You actually don't find mushrooms too often in fried rice. I just love that sweet and sour. So good. What are we off to next? Ganache Bakery, best bakery in town. And that's Jamaicans, right? No. no? I'm, and I got a couple history lessons I got okay, okay. you before we get there. For Henry Flagler's time, this is 1878. There was a Spanish ship called Providencia going from Cuba to Spain. It wrecks just off of Palm Beach. Any guesses what the cargo was? Coconuts. Coconuts. Lots of coconuts. Um, I thought say, I was sure, Kane. Okay. You know, they say 20,000 coconuts. Who knows? It was a lot. So guess what washed up on all our beaches? Coconuts. Coconuts. And you live in South Florida. You know it does not take a whole lot to plant a coconut. The silly things kind of plant themselves. Moral of the story is that's how we got the name Palm Beach. Thanks to all our coconuts. And this is Garnache. Garnache Bakery. We're here. What's up guys? How are you doing? All right. So I'm going to show you, um, tell you a little bit more, a little bit about my coconuts. They do come in a variety of colors and shapes, but that does not tell the sweetness of the coconut. So to open it, I like to do it from the bottom because the opposite end is very fibrous. On an angle. Here we go. So give that a little pop. Move this jelly or coconut water. I could drink this every day. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Especially in the heat here in South Florida, you need this every day. That's why in Latin America, Caribbean, you have this every day because the heat, you know? Mother Nature's gateway. But inside we have the meat or the jelly, as I call it in my country. Have a try, right? Mmm. <laughs> This one's not that sweet. Oh, okay. But we can get better, right? <laughs> okay. okay, so tamarind, one of our street names. Very few people realize that this is actually a fruit. Um, even locals. You know, locals see these hanging from a tree. You can see why you'd easily mistake that for a seed pod. Jamal and Nish, being from the islands, um, they're not going to waste these tamarinds like locals do. They make the most amazing tamarind juice that we've got for you to try. All right, so this is our taster we have the coconut water that I just tried, the tamarind juice. So again, tamarind comes from there, right? That's the tamarind fruit. I had it a bunch of times in India as chutney, so super sweet. Oh, so good. Almost like a cloudy, almost like a pear juice, no? This is the key lime, that is a fruit, and key lime pie obviously originates from the keys, you know, the Keys is a uh, you know, island chain right here in Florida. It's the very last bit of the United States. And I can't wait to try it because the best key lime pies are in the Keys. Miami, we got no good key lime pies. <laughs> but we're gonna this, change your life. We're gonna right change now. my life, right? This is the good one. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Never green. Green is food coloring. Mmm. I love the fluffiness on the top. And the shortbread crust is phenomenal. So the mix is just incredible. The problem with this is so addictive. The good news is tomorrow we're gonna send you the recipe for that key lime pie. What? So you've got your food tour souvenir. So you can make it and then think about West Palm Beach. Thanks bro, thank you so much. Have a good one. Safe, man. Take, Take care guys, Take care, thank you. All right. And that's it guys, an incredible West Palm Beach downtown food tour in partnership with Get Your Guide. We had a taco, we had a French sandwich, we had multiple different drinks, we had some Asian inspired food, and we had a key lime pie. Incredible food tour. You can book this tour and thousands of other unforgettable experiences on getyourguide.com. If you guys love the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere around the world. Peace. Mm -hmm.